Yo, a restaurant is gonna be cool. I like this guy. He has the same ideals. All of a sudden, morals completely changed. Game completely changed. Character completely changed. Snowy's on that Koji we mentioned. <laughs> yeah, he actually went with the Koji, and he is slicing and dicing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, are you kidding? What a read that he's gonna go right under you to go do a ground pound in that situation. Put him through the platform, try to slide off with a signature, and can Wave got even touch a weapon? No, he can't. Side signature gonna land, able to dodge the D the dare, but. He hasn't got anything going, man. Wave God is God in danger. Wave yet to pick up an, a weapon. All right, that's the weapon he's looking for. He's the car a specialist. Let's see what he can do. Clap back against Snowy's Koji. That's been looking excellent so far. The weapon combination here for Snowy is interesting because he doesn't play a lot of sword. Even when he gets on that Koji, he likes to primarily play the bow. He likes to abuse the frames that of advantage that bow has. Bow is a very quick weapon, so you can get your attacks out, keep moving, get another account out. You want to put out as many as you can. That way you can cover as many options as you want. And Snowy loves doing that when he has bow in hand, but you can see he's working with the sword here, and he can't seem to find this KO, even though that's what sword does best. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's delicious. He got the KO. You know, so right before that, what set that up is the way he danced over the top of Wave God. To, he played in the position where, you know, the recovery of Katars goes angled. He was like, nope, I don't care if you go right, left, I'm going to stay right above you. You're going to whiff it, I'm going to go for a punch. He wasn't landing them because Wave God was doing good dodges after he uh, whiffed it, but it still kept him trying to go for that play. He ended up off the side and got down there. Game over. St God. Snatch that recovery. Looking to get the KO there. He gets it with a downline recovery. GC, that's good for him as he switches to Katarza here. Katarza versus Unarmed is a dangerous spot to be in. Snowy could take a lot of damage here, but he claps back with the Unarmed Satellite Bow in hand. He's hovering a bit too high to get, and he hits off. He's back on the ground, and he's trying to zone Wave God away with a wake up. Wave God claps back. Yeah, he that's went right back at him. I don't think that Katarza is the weapon that you wake up against, to be real. Did you? Huh? That was. I don't think that was an accent. I know, I know it looks like an accident he doesn't put his recovery out, but it was in a very scary spot because it looked like Snowy was right there ready to clash out with a down air. And oh, yeah. he just said, all right, I'm waiting for you to down air. I'm going to wait for you to down air before I recovery. And it never comes out. So now you're in a spot where, all right, wait, you didn't down air. Now I'm at the bottom of the map. What's going on? That's right. That's right. That's exactly what what happened, man. It's just a, what is it? Uh, Oda calls that babysitting when you just kind of hover on somebody and you're not really doing anything and it just scares them into making a mistake on, on their way back. That was perfect. Baby sat him on the side of the stage, put him to sleep, and here we go. He's got one stock left, only has the Koji of Snow. He's on, but, uh, you know, slightly red, but uh, can't land any hits, man. He's not getting anything going. Every time, he's not getting the punishes on whiffs. He's not really getting, ah And he said, zip, shut your mouth. I know what I'm doing. Push him off to the side, lands the neutral signature, gets him out of there. All right, this is the moment of truth. We've seen a lot of guitars, but they have him doing a lot of, stuff you know like we've seen him have the guitars it's not like he hasn't been playing them but every time he gets a dodge he gets one or two hits Sweet when we're looking for three mother. and that's that the one second was time an accident he's done it something like that on the cars. yeah this time it's actually an accident the first time not so much a lot of pressure from Sony makes him fall off this isn't the ways of wave I'm used to I know wave guard is at least better than this so, oh, oh yeah definitely so we're gonna see it go into another game and I'm really interested to see if wave God can step it up I don't think we'll be seeing a character swap from wave God I wouldn't be surprised to see one from Snowy, but I doubt it. It took a while to get those lock-in sounds going, so it might have been a swap. It might be interesting. Damage doubt. Low for Snowy both players. Yep. L low for both players because Wave God's kind of z Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's and it. he's not actually doing a lot of damage to Three, Snowy. So. Two, Back one, into it. The characters are exactly the same. We're on Apocalypse this time. Smaller map. Maybe Wave God can work with it. That short hop away, he pick up the weapon before him. It looked like it was Wave Gods, but it was such good movement from Snowy to get it. And now he's capitalizing. Guitars in hand. Ooh, a Sayer. You know, it was all exhausted. If he landed the Sayer, he could have been. Dunzo still hasn't really touched the ground. Finally getting a touch on the wall, trying to fight back with the guitars in the air. And back on stage, Snowy is playing so good with this sword. It's ridiculous. I guess. Forget it, right? Who needs the Rayman? Who needs the Gauntlets when you got a blade like this? Yeah, Man. He, he must be mad at me because I said that he plays primarily the bow. Now he just wants to play sword all day. He's proving me wrong. He's looking exceptionally clean on it. I really like what he's doing. He's getting a lot of four hit interactions and that's what sword can be good at if you can find the pressure on the people. If you can force them to get their dodge off early, it becomes a stream weapon all of a sudden where you're, okay, down air just became a nair. That just became a recovery. The dare just became an end light. The end light just turned into a down light to recovery. Like, and it's really working out. He has a full stock lead here. He's already working on that extra credit on the stock and he's only in the yellow. He's chilling. 
he's definitely chilling on it, man. He's, he just got put to orange, but the neutral has been really, really strong. He's playing very patient with the bow, throws it away. I guess he wanted the sword, but nice star starving from Wave God. Nice pickup. It's still not enough. Gonna starve once again. Goes back to the Katars. He's trying to find that finishing blow before he gets hit by an attack like that. Now the sword is out. He's in red. He had to get that out of there before he let Snow get a weapon. Now he's in trouble of going down two stocks. Yep, and you just saw it there again. He picked up the sword, and it wasn't one hit. It wasn't two hits. It was three. He hits the side light, turns that into a down light into the side air, forces him all the way to the left side of the stage. And now they're fighting for the, who gets this KO here. Wave God gets it, but at what cost? Yes. He he gets the KO, but now you're already at KO percentage. I'm sending you to one stock if I just get another hit. Yeah, it, it, he he was on like the slightest of orange. If he could have got it at that point when he was keeping the weapons away from Snowy, it would have been a much better look. You're already down a set, right? I mean, a game in the set. And now you're down pretty big. If he lets him take the stock early before he gets any damage on Snowy, then it's just going to be really, really rough to come back mentally and in the game. Boom. Neutral light lands from Snowy. What is going to be the option on the edge guard? He goes right under him, fades to the, uh, the dodge, and goes for recovery. Such clean play. I'm actually just mad I said Snowy did, didn't play the sword. I, I, I just feel like a liar. I'm sorry, chat. I should have never said anything. From now on, I'm not going to assume what people play. I'm just going to go into it. Oh, he's playing Koji? Must be a, ma a mastery thing. He's clean on both weapons from now on. But as Snowy proves me wrong, Wave God also wants to prove me wrong. He wants to say that he's not either this game just yet. He gets four hits on the cards of the sideline. He's going to go into the end stick, but he's still at such a deficit. And the damage output on these cards is not enough. You need to find a big string. You need to have four hits. Because at this point, this it feels like Sword is a better string weapon than Katara is coming into this game right now. And that's just not, and it can't be the case, right? Ah, <sighs> man. So you are 1,000% correct. I'm going to talk about something real quick, though. Do you see when Wave God's out on that side and he keeps recovering the opposite direction? He's terrifying me. He died two times last game doing that. And now he's just doing it on his last stock in game two. I mean, now it's turning out good, right? I can say everything I want. It's turning out good. But if he keeps that up, Snowy ain't going to let him do it. And I'll tell you right now, even if he gets past Snowy, the South American players are definitely going to come holler yeah. at him. You know what I'm saying? He, he, I don't know. That's some scary stuff to do. Waste your recovery, and then if you get uh, get approached, I actually want to see now if it's going to play out like that. Pushed out to the side by the sidelight. No, he missed. Okay, Snowy tried to put him out there. If he puts him out to the side, I'm going to see if it happens, and I don't think Snowy lets him have it. There's going to connect. He's left unarmed. Looking for a weapon now, and he's finally trying to take this slow and steady. Snowy's been pushing on him really hard. Wave God finally saying, all right, I'm not going to push back. This time I'm going to let you have the room, and I'm going to use what I can out of it. But he's so terrifying every time he gets that down lower to the map. He makes it back this time. Snowy left unarmed. With the he can't find a breakthrough. Sends him off stage. He's limited on options. Makes it back to the wall. He's going to reset all his jumps there. But he still has to fight his way through the map. As I say that, he gets the sideline weapon in hand. It's the sword. Side air is going to catch the recovery. Wave God doesn't want to connect two arts to that edge guard down light. Sayer is going to be another way to fight back on him. So, and he's going for the recoveries now. That's what mm. Sword does. Catches the side air as he falls down. And he is out of that map. That's 2 0 from Sony as he looks into the camera. <laughs> Snowy, stop looking yeah, at the camera like that, know. dog. He, that was he, creepy, bro. Nah, he was too <laughs> happy about that win. He was too happy. <laughs> But great play, man. Snowy is controlling the pacing. He's he's landing hits. I, I want to see the accuracy. He's He's been playing so good. The bait there into the recovery. He actually went for it here, and I don't think it KO'd. And yeah, and then he goes up, and he gets the stare. He, he's, he's placing these moves so perfect. The accuracy, 76 attacks, 49%. He's not swinging for the fences, but when he does, it counts. Yeah, I really like that stat about the 50% accuracy. It's about 50%, 49%. It's... Kind of clean because Koji is a character that you throw a lot of attacks out on it in general. And if you usually, uh, if you're not hitting them all, you're gonna still see high attack count, but you're not gonna see all of them connecting, and that's fine because that's just how you play Koji. He's connecting all of them, so that value is just insane. He's playing Koji correct, and he's also landing all the moves he can. And you're seeing it here again multiple moves around the bow, and most of them are connections. Another end light, double end light goes for the end stick, doesn't find that end light that came out because he gets knocked out of the way. But he's still looking clean on it. The downlight recovery is going to be a clap back from Wave God as he sends him to the top of the map. The KO is not coming through just yet. Snow is feeling himself. He has the damage lead just slightly. And when you're playing against Sir, you aren't too scared about getting KO. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, the character has like cheap KOs, right? But not just like 
it's not it's not high damage. It's not it's, it's, you know, it's not, it's not like and the sigs are not blatant. You can't just throw them. Open. Exactly, you can't just chuck them out at all. Now there's cool setups with the neutral sig from the from the Tars and like, yeah. the sword. The sword has cool little stuff like that too. But like I said, it's all cheeky. Nothing's just like kind of guaranteed. You gotta work for it. You gotta work. For it. Mm-hmm. All right, and we got the bow. And so, I mean, we're talking about not really having the KO option. That's kind of the reason why this is still tied, because he can't get the stock off. So now he finally gets the recovery. I think if he was able to get that a while ago, he would not be in as deep red, because he had a, a good bit of control. A good yeah. bit of the neutral was in his favor. Now, this is the Wave God's first lead this side. I feel that it gets completely wiped in an even slate game. But it just shows that Wave God is semi-adaptable. So he is actually able to even up the game there. But Snowy is clapping back even harder with the sword. Double Oh so, like, gets a side air. He's playing it like it's a string weapon, as I've already mentioned. Yes, wave sir! Pushing the waves. He's showing an ocean right now. The double dare. He comes off. He catches the recovery. And you can see it there again. He did actually go for that third recovery. He so he threw out his first recovery. I mean, third down and third out throughout the recovery. Just more babysitting on that edge guard play. And both players are doing it so well. The down air comes out on the starts to find the end light. Ooh, but Snowy claps back immediately with his own edge guard. Wave guards out of options. The game is even once again. It could go any way. That was so good from both of them. They said, you come out to the side. This is my territory. I'm going to get you out of here evicted. But uh, now we're on the final stocks. This could be the end of the set if Snowy gets this stock. But Wave God, can he survive, man? I, I just want to see it. He's playing great. And over the course of these matches, he's been getting better with the neutral and the control. But the thing is, whenever Snowy lands a hit, he steamrolls. And he gets, like you said at the very beginning, not one, not two. Three to four every single time he lands something. And yeah, whiff punish. Easy. Wave God looking for a way to break into Snowy's area with these guitars here. He got that dodge, turns the, the Nair into a recovery. But low force of Suri, that's not going to be all you have. You need more than that. Satellite end light is good. Reads the spot dodge. Gets only a Nair, though. Gets the set to punish. And Wave God's in a position to take this game. That's another dodge taken out from Snowy. Doesn't go for the edge guard. No, he doesn't want that weapon in his hand. He throws it point blank, gets rid of it, but he's not in a spot to get the mm -hmm. other one. And the dodge down is going to seal that game. That's 2-1. Wave God taking game three above Snowy. Wave God, nice. Poised. Clean. I like it. That was a good game. I still don't get how he's seeing the screen cleanly. But that was a clean a clean dub. He's going to get in there. It's 2-1. He's staying alive. Look, hey, hey, keep your eyes on the game, bro. He's looking around. I figured it out. Don't get jittery. I figured it out. What's he's, he's tall, so the monitor's probably low. He's looking down constantly. His eyes pointed straight down. Talk to me. I the information. I was theory crafting it the entire time. It's top <laughs> top <laughs> we got a replay here for you. That double end light from the cars. That's a signature read. That's a signature approach. If you're going to stay coming down to me like that, I'm going to catch you dodge. I'm going to take you out with the recovery. True with no dodge, so not true. But you get the that was good, but one thing I don't know if is, is good, he's having uh, trouble getting some of these stocks out of here. Luckily for him, he got that edge guard stock, but it took, what is this? Uh, th that was three games, final stock, before we saw a read uh, on a dodge the way in that manner. It took that long to figure out the tendencies of Snowy to uh, double dunk. Okay, so if he gets a gimp like he did last yeah, game, buddy, maybe this is another survival stock. Dodge reads. Who needs a dodge read? I got the offstage mastery. He hits him with a double ground bar on sword. Whenever I see sword offstage, it's just been dangerous all day. Yes. South America was showing it. Now we got EU showing it. You take sword offstage and uh, it's not looking safe for you. So oh. He actually. He almost Tim got him. playing offstage with the cards. He's trying to look for a gimp here as well. Wave God is playing clean these past two games. He's finally trying to bring it back against Snowy. And I, I knew it. I was like, I was telling you, this is not the Wave God I know. I know Snowy is good. Snowy is great. He's here as PR2 from NA for a reason. Mm -hmm. But Wave God is a clean player. You gotta give him respect where it's doing. Oh that's, my that's what goodness. You to respect. That's the Asuri Mastery. We were talking about how those things are not obvious. We were talking about how they're not easy to use. Wave God showing something he knows that Snowy wasn't expecting the, the, the size that comes out from reverse. I love it. Runs to the middle of the map and gets him off early with that KM. That was so clean. Pivoted off and ran on thin air. Timed it perfect. Now that's one of the things I find hard with this character is timing the release of that because it's kind of the charge Ooh. of the run. You got to let go of him. Man, he's looking good. He's dancing all over this Koji. You always would think that Koji's the one that's going to make you have to play the nooch because he's so fast with his strikes. Not able to get the KO yet, has not taken one stock off. Snowy coming offside, weapon throws good, down air's good. 
Weapon throws good. Okay, he finally got the first one off. He is on orange as Koji. That's a rough comeback to make. I mean, even with the character and the player that hasn't been KOing quickly, you still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you mentioned that first song being Kagan, but and we've got Sing so comfortably. He's got two more to work with, but Down is gonna come out and knock somebody to the left side, and he runs off to Ish with the honor and says, I don't even care that I have no weapon. I'm still going for these plays. Downlight recovery. Snowy's gonna take uh, do a bit of damage to Wave God, but Wave God even care. If you're Snowy right now, you're probably theory crafting. Alright, am I sticking on the Koji next game? Do I want some now? Because Wave God here is working on his two stock victory. Snowy has was sitting comfortably the first two games, but it's only been a ladder. Wave God's only been learning. He's only been getting better every single game. We saw the first game. He got he he got kind of wrecked, right? He got the story. Second game, Wave God brought it back. Third game, Wave God won. Oh my Fourth game, Lord! That's a two star. So what does game five look like for Snowy? I don't know what wave game five looks like. I'll tell you right now. I, I, let's get the doll scene, bro, because uh, it looks like sword to sword, man to man. Koji's been figured out. That the play on this stage, I you know, kinda because this is the most dominant round. It, it's a combination of understanding what Snowy wants and the stage. He was playing so cleanly on that map. And we can see how his attack count has dropped. It's gone yes. from the 70 that we were looking at to something about like at 30, 49, right? So he's he's dropping his attacks. He's not attacking as much as he was before, and that's gonna leave him damaged. And another thing I want to mention is Snowy. Not a Koji main. He's not. He's not even a main of either of the weapons. So as Wave God is learning, he's adapting what he knows. Character mastery. He knows what to do on these weapons. As he starts coming at Snowy, Snowy might start thinking, "Okay, what do I do here? I don't play this weapon as much as I need to. What am I supposed to do in this situation?" And as a top player, you gotta learn those situations fast. You gotta download that stuff fast, or else you're gonna see yourself getting laddered up. As Wave God is continuously knowing what to do because he plays this and you're learning so you're always a step behind you're always working harder than he has mm -hmm. to that's why we keep seeing Ogrim players losing to Kosselix yeah. you try to bring the the mirror the ditto either way you want to say it you bring it to the Game master of five. it and after a while they're going to figure you out and they're going to play it a little bit better because they've been doing it for a long time here we go he sticks with the Koji it's game five, and he sticks to the Koji. We're on the Great Hall. We haven't, I've not seen this map in a hot minute, and I'm mad if he's taking me to it. But we have the high platforms, double sword, double guitars. It's kind of awkward because a lot of these weapons, they like to KO off the top. And we're on a map where, I mean, look at, I'm, I'm looking up right now in real life. Look at that ceiling. That's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> so you can see the sides that come out. Five seven on the left, Koji on Snowy is looking really good right now. As he already sends Wave on that dark red. Now that recovery is still not going to KO, and that is why you don't come to this place, man. It's looking so hard. That one's finally going to do it, and he's sitting pretty on that yellow of that stock. That was a really, really clean stock from Snowy. I mean, the delay recovery wasn't enough, but he lands two of them back to back, two KO blows. You know what I mean? Two KO attempts, and you land them back to back. That's a great look. Because one thing that people struggle with in tournament is I keep seeing a lot of guys that are able to rack the damage up, but they can't find the final hit. That's what Wave God was having a problem with at the beginning. Now, he's been doing a lot better in these last two games. Now we're in game five. I want to see if he can pick it up. He's getting some good damage. Hasn't taken too much on the second stock. But look at the neutral. See, right? Snowy's able to find KOs. Snowy's able to play really aggressive when needed once, once a touch is hit. And the neutral is just so hard to get in his space. I don't know how Wave God controlled it the last game. I, I really want to put a lot on that stage. He played well on it. But I want to see if he can do it here. I got to see the adjustment. And it does look really good. Snowy, Snowy is actually adapting really well, and Wave God's trying to adapt back. But, and you can see it. Look at how even that stock was. It was kind of close back to back. Wave got in the orange there, and Snowy remember started up only in the light yellow. So arguably that stock was even, right? He had to, he sent he sent Snowy the red, but got sent in the orange doing the same damage, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the problem with how that first stock went, because now you're playing. How you were playing before you're evened up you're thinking okay this is actually a winnable fight but you're a stock deficit the entire time you're scared the entire time you have to play that back foot and it's just working the snowy's favor here as he tries to zone wave got away he doesn't want to play the card he switches to the sword back in hand wave got has these cards he needs to find something he doesn't want to commit too hard especially with not how that snow without snowy's position on that platform Yo, I, I gotta wonder who, who do you do you remember who picked the stage? Do you, do you remember? We didn't get a chance. To we see didn't that. get to see that because I'm looking at how Snowy's low key like using the platforms and I'll, running away from. Him. I think Snowy picked. This. I'll tell you right now, Snowy picked this. <laughs> I don't have to theorycraft it. Snowy picked this. 
Gotcha, gotcha. He's he's playing too clean on this. Look at that pickup. The down like hit from behind on the gravity. Ooh, that could be very bad. He switches to the other side. He knows that situation was not good for him at all. As the oh, Tarnar yeah. catches out of the recovery, he chooses to switch instead of contest the GC sideline. That's gonna be his dodge. The wave gone. That's the second time he's fumbled the bag, and that's a very big bag when you have no aerial dodge against Katars. Your dodge is gone for so long. Oh yeah, he was supposed to rack it up. We should be seeing Koji on like right red, like almost right outside of orange if he would have landed that combo. Here we go, moving around. Got these guitars. Cannot get a touch. Sayer from Snowy. Weapon toss yeah, right Snowy's on the body. He's not going to land. Snowy's basically just been at, if he has the bow or the sword and you're in red, he's playing on that area where it's above the side platforms or above the main platform. And Katars really has no straight angle to deal with that because Katars doesn't have that sword recovery. They instead have a straight diagonal recovery where it's like, okay, I have to snipe you out of the air. I have to pick where you're going and then I have to aim it instead of being able to just kind of move my way through. As I say that, he gets that one of those recoveries and it's not enough. He's Still only has Snowy in the orange here, kind of matching the tree in the background. He's mm. looking for more. He's going for these end sticks now. He's getting a big yeah. beady. Snowy's punch punishing every single one. I, yeah, I definitely. For him to be able to bring this back in this game five, I really want to see him relax a little bit and don't get greedy and try to go for these big hits. Well, I mean, he's trying to chill out now. He hasn't really pressed anything, and Snowy's just racking it up. Finally gets a recovery, but he's not even close to red yet. I mean, he's close now afterwards, but he wasn't there, so it wasn't going to KO even as high as it was. Snowy racking up more damage. What in the world can Wave God do at this point? He's got a stock deficit. Boom. Lands in there. And... It's the movement. It's, it's how do you figure out? You know, I don't want to. I, I want to call it. Uh, what do the Brawl boys call it? Passive. <laughs> <laughs> How do you figure out how to take the approach to Snowy when he's zoning you this hard? How do you? Yeah. You don't know what to do. You can't figure out to break that bubble that Snowy's creating, especially with the platforms in play. Yeah, he's look at how he's dancing around these man, smoothing and grooving, and you just can't figure out when it's your time to tangle with them. Here we go. He's got the bow and picked up. I Down can't recovery. believe that guy. I did not think it was going to work. I mean, if I'm wave guard here, I'm on the wall. I'm doing what I have to do to get that guitar game, to get that KO, because next hit is taking me out, and I got a lot of hits I got to get to take him out. Yeah. Maybe he can do it. Let's see what he opts out to do here. Snowy's still on that top platform where he calls himself home. And wave guard, he's on the ground now. He's trying to figure out what to do. Snowy using his dodge there. Ooh, create an opportunity for himself. Wave guard fights his way back on stage. He's out of options. Uh, he knows it. He turns around. It's going to be GG. Yeah, hate to see it. He got hit so tough. And he was like, you know what? I used two of those jumps already. I'm out of there. And hung it up. Snowy talking some troll stuff. Now I'm just playing. I don't know what he's actually <laughs> saying, but he's got another dub. I think at this point, I didn't see his score, but I'm pretty sure, uh, if I remember correctly, he is on the way to be Yeah, we haven't seen scores bracket. in a bit, so hopefully we get an update on that. I want to know how all our boys in the bracket are doing, if they're going strong or going home. Definitely want to take a look at the, the round robins. I want to see each group and see what we've got going on. Uh, nice job from Snowy, man. Just clean. Just clean. Just clean.